What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Svanko here with the boy Mer. And if you guys didn't know by the title of the video, he just came first place at the Toronto Regional this weekend. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, thank you. Um, man was playing birds, but I gotta respect it because you go XO and what is it, eight rounds? Yeah, eight rounds. XO and eight rounds is pretty tough. So congratulations, and I'm gonna let you take over. Sounds good. So uh, for the typical bird lineup, you want to play the the little six thunder monsters. Uh, you have your one talking, one street, three robina, three loon. Yep. Uh, these six cards are 100% mandatory. Uh, I think Robina is literally your one card starter. You sometimes don't want to see Eaglin in your starting hand because like, when you have Eaglin and you have no other extender, you search a level 700 bird, then what? Like, what do you do? Yeah. I've seen a lot of people kind of run um, double Token. And the reason is because Token can search you any, I mean, add you any banished Thunder card. But I just don't think it's a good call. Maybe if, if they, for me, I think double Street is over double Token. Just because Street can banish anything, which is good. Especially against like the split matchups, you banish Ronin Toten if you want to or anything else, but I wouldn't even run two of those at all. I want to say we were talking before this as well, and you were saying how a lot of people are off hand traps. So Rabina and stuff is going to resolve a lot in this format essentially. Yeah, literally. Like the thing is like, a lot of people got, uh, I would say, punished facing uh, Thunder because not a lot of them are running like those those uh, beating Thunder cards. Yeah. So like a lot of the games, I wasn't drawing Shifter as much, which uh, in a sense like, yeah, it was kind of like not not scary but kind of like upsetting because shifter kind of stops a lot of those hand traps yeah but like i never got big alert uh whenever i had whenever i got imperm like i would dodge it and people would they were running ogre and um uh ash and those are like the three card uh two like main hand traps that can like hurt this deck yeah yeah because ogre you can ogre the field spell and they're also meaning like this next card dd crow yeah because like they're running triple dd crow just because like i'm running one because searchable and like i don't want to see like three of these in my hand i'd rather see one because i already have caught by but like DD Crow is fine because you can DD Crow whatever they have in their grave. Like if they go split Elf, target like Ronin Totem. I mean, um, uh, target uh, Soft Pocket Grave. You can just DD Crow it or even Ronin Totem too. Yeah. And like no matter what, like if you know how to play play, play against Spite, you can just easy cook them. It's, it's just it's pretty much light. But yeah. And then people maining DD Crow also it doesn't do anything against you. So. It does not. It does not. I mean, yeah. unless like, well, am I gonna misplay and like go street target one of my cards? Never. Nah, never. I'll always go street target my opponent's grave, and it'll always be somewhat chain block. If I street my grave, that's just a major misplay. Okay. And I think like. Best card in the game. Of course. Like, oh my god, bro. <laughs> of course. This card is so stupid because the fact that you can search it off bro, being like a searchable card, it's a win monster too. Like, it's just stupid, bro. 1,000 attack, like, to make it zero attack. But either way, it doesn't even matter because no matter what, when I have it on the field, my opponent, to get over, they have to normal summon. Yeah. And when they normal summon, I have my map at my field spot to normal summon on their turn. I have my Dreaming Town to normal summon. So I pretty much have double those cards to summon what card? Ryza. Ryza, not once per turn, you can summon off the map when they normal summon, you bounce. If they have an extender like Griffin, then you go Griffin, they go Dreaming Town, you bounce it again if you want to the top of the deck, or you can book their monster. Just, it's just debatable at the end of the day. And then you have the one Apex Avian, which is your, your one negate. Um, I was facing uh, Elich in one of my matchups. I had no back removal main deck. Uh, the only somewhat back removal I would say I have is Unexplored Wins, okay. which came up. So the man tried to bait me and go um, attempt to enter battle phase in, in, in game one, you know? And like, I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. I was like, is he really like gonna main evenly right now? I'm like, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. And he's like, main phase two, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it was so just bait. He's, like, he's just bait. I was like, okay, easy cook. And like, now he goes main phase two, then what? He set a monster face down, and then I just like cook from there. But he was a really good opponent yeah. though, like, nice guy overall, like, he's a good guy. Um, double M pen, I think 100%, like, you need to run double M pen. Yep. I've, seen, I've seen people run double Ryza, but what's the point of that when you can literally Ryza twice on one turn if you want to? You can. Uh, tribute summon Ryza over one one M pen if you want to because Ryza effect. Yep. Uh, but M pen no one's per turn, the most broken card in the game, especially facing uh like link decks. Uh, if they go split off like link summon major misplay M pen you can't activate it. One of my opponents even summoned swap fog in attack mode. Uh, oh my special god. Dead too, which is crazy. <laughs> and I mean I allowed him. I was like yeah no problem you know put in defense because I mean like it, it's it's whatever you know I'm not I'm not there to be like that guy. I was like yeah just put in defense doesn't matter. But like yeah people have to watch out because M pen some people were telling me like. Oh, I thought it was negates all monsters. I'm like, what the? I'm like, nah, nah, just search some monsters. That's how it works. That's how it works. Just search some monsters in the tag. That's about it. But uh, I mean, I think broken card overall. Good guy, Mer. And you still won. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just think like, uh, don't be a scum when playing these yeah, like, yeah, big yeah, events. Obviously, you know, like you wanna, you're there to have fun. Like, shout out to my boy Aldrin who I faced round one. Like, I think that was one of the best duels I've ever had. Uh, like, he was playing Sun Avalon. Cooked me first game, second game, I, I cooked him. Then third game was like back and forth. It was like crazy. Like the Rika cards that he was playing, yeah. insane. Check his list out for sure. Uh, we have the one unexplored wins. This card broken. I unexplored wins three times against Elich. Oh my god. I, I don't want to get into that, bro. It was just, it was just nuts. And then you have your three advent adventure to dodge in from Valor. Also searchable for any big bird you want. 
uh, only like Thunderbirds, and then you can also search these three cards. One of these three, Map, Action Normal Summon. Obviously, you already know this card just just nuts for Thunder because you can reveal Eaglen, Banish will be in a start typical combo, and then just combo off from there. Yep. So it's just nuts. Then you have your crazy, crazy cards here. Um, so the thing is, I've seen people run um, double, uh, double, no, triple prosperity and double extra with three duality. I don't think that's really necessary because realistically I want to see what I'm banishing in my grave Yeah. because I mean banishing in my extra deck because the thing is like my extra deck did come up today a lot uh, especially like facing against um, uh, Eldritch uh, the the guy summoned his um, Eldritch in an animal zone pointer oh, so, yeah, yeah. and he, he locked me under Tigaboo so I was like oh no it's like tricky because I have no back row so I went okay I have my map on field okay normal summon uh, link one into Anima took his Eldritch and then from there just beat him down uh, when, I, when I took his Eldritch I activated uh, Dreamtown and I was just, uh, he was like, okay, uh, thinking. And I'm like, okay, no problem. And he's like, and I, I knew like that he was like debating on like, wait, he can't activate Thunder Monster effects, but I had Berry Statue in my hand. Yeah. Dream Town, some Berry Statue, and from there it was just, it was just easy cook. Uh, we have the three most important cards in the game. Uh, this card, I didn't see it as much today. I mean, as much as at the event, which is which was yesterday. Uh, this card I think is nuts because it stops so many hand traps. Uh, it doesn't stop Ash, but it can stop Ogre, it can stop Baylor, it can stop like pretty much like anything. DD Crow against decks, but DD Crow doesn't matter against us. Um, this 100% was a meta call, like to put in. Okay. Uh, I wasn't mining them before, but I think like you have to put Ash in because I was testing a lot, out a lot, especially against Splite. I noticed that when you, if you just negate Gigantic, uh, when, like during testing, like shout out to everybody I test with. Like you negate Gigantic, they just they have no combo piece from there. Like, so you think that's the best card to hit Gigantic, with the Ash specifically? Hundred percent. Okay. I, w I would never in my life Ash any of the starters because it's just it's just uh, not a good like it's not a smart play, and I wouldn't even Ash a Spite starter because I mean you play around if you if you Ash Spite starter and they have Gamma, you just give them a free, oh you just gave free them a free center. combo yeah literally, uh, Dark Cooler nuts card I mean bro. Whenever I resolve this, it didn't even matter because I would, birds can't OTK, so I just establish my bird board and then just just nuts. Dark cooler one of terraforming one of searching your field spell no matter what. I took I was running um I was running set rotation mystic mine. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I was running that, but I just think like in this format was not worth it just because like a lot of decks can kind of play through it and like people expect it, especially after shout out to Ryan Yu for coming, you know, second in uh, YCS. People At knew like the Nationals. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah Nationals, yeah. my bad. And yeah, like yeah. the first the first place person was also running a main deck mine. Yep. So I knew a lot of people were trying to like play around it, but as well as like Splite, Splite Smashes, I believe, they can play around mine, which I just think like it is a pretty nice card, but it's also kind of a bad card because yeah. you don't want to see that card in your hand. Uh, and yeah, this is about it to be honest with you. This just searched my field spell. The two nuts card that I was running, people are gonna be shocked about this, but double Dreaming Town. This card not being once per turn, searchable, just insane. Like, like so you, you really have, like playing the second one. I do for sure, because whenever I would normal summon, say some people know how to play around birds. So if I if I activate one of the Dreaming Towns and I have the other one set, I go normal summon and if they negate the first summon, that's fine. The chain block of the second uh, summon will still get to add it to my hand, and then on res, I'll just activate it again. It's not once per turn. Well, the only thing once per turn is the grave effect. Yeah. Which uh which is uh the Book of Moon. But like I remember like some of the games I was like going to game three and I would have like one of these in my hand and I searched the other one from M Pen. And what I would do is um they, they they would go like I have two set, they go cosmic cycle in the job phase, they pop Because they would think you only had the one because yep. of the one you searched and yep. you're like, no, I it, it, it's sad too there you go. Yeah, it's sad too because most of them would get happy, they're like, Oh yes, I hit it. And then next thing you know, they make their comp like they try to like, you know, do their stuff and I just go to the other one and like, oh wow, you played two. I'm like, yeah, bro, it's a nuts card. Uh for the side deck. We have the most broken card that should not be in Flunder. Three Harvest for the Storm. Yeah. I mean, this negates anything. Like, it just stops every single card. And you're able to pay cost still, but I mean, like, who really cares? Because if you have Bray Statue and you have your full combo and you have this set, you win. It, it doesn't only matter, loses, yeah. Yeah, literally. It only ever loses to um, uh, Red Reboot. Because, like, you know, Red Reboot against it, they just can't activate it. And yeah. It's like full combo. You have your three evenly matches and your twin, double twin. So I wanted to have Harvest Feather Duster, but uh, I couldn't. I, I like forgot because I woke up too early for the I woke up too late for the for the regionals and I had to rush, so that's why like when I had nib, I was supposed to cut one nib off and put a, a double judgment and one happy feather and the reason was because like yeah like these were good enough these five cards were good enough against like the floodgate card the floodgate decks which I faced like two of, uh, but like evenly being able to wipe your whole board whole opponent's full board with, especially when they had like dark ruler combo yeah dark ruler evenly just just broken. Double twin did come up a lot too, cause uh, being able to like twin twist with the the, the Elish combos through like one of the branded Elish players, he top deck Tigabu on me, he said it, and I was like, oh no, like here it goes again and yeah. stuff. But I mean, like it is what it is. 
But these three, like, I never put in at all. In so, so you wouldn't play these again? Hell no. So the Hell Father no. Duster and the Judgment? The, the, or if you're going triple, the, triple Judgment, for sure. Okay. Because, like, I mean, Judgment, like, I need Judgment just because, like, you want to be able to stop, like, cards like Red Reboot and, like, a lot of other cards. Especially, like, when you're putting normal summons and you Judgment, there's no someone who cares when you have Bear Statue. Or you can just go full combo, it doesn't matter, but yeah. I wouldn't do that. But you just go full combo. But I never once, during the event, I was pretty much playing, like, I would say, 12 side deck cards. Because these were just dead. They were dead. Yeah. I never even put them in once. I was facing Splay. I faced a, I faced a Thunder Mirror match. I faced um, no tier elements. It was like pure like Banded Elich, Splay, Live Twin Splay. But shout out to my boy David because uh, what happened during the tournament was um, we both had deck deck checks and we both messed up our deck deck list. So we both got a game one loss. So what they did was they told us that we have to play only one match, which I felt bad because I won the dice roll and like you know Thunder winning the dice roll. The way is too crazy. Yeah, I felt bad for him because I mean that the win didn't sit right in my mouth, but. Um, but yeah, like, I, it, I, it sucked for him. Like, I talked to him after, and like, you know, we talked about it and like everything. Like, he, he's a good guy, though. All, all around, like, the next know, YCS, he's gonna talk David, for sure. Uh, these three like, cards, like most broken card, I think, team. like, created in pole. Like, I don't know why Konami thought that adding this card was, like, it was MVP for you. MVP for sure. I would go uh, against, like, Splite, I would go, okay, send uh, Target Splite out, send uh, Live Twin Sunny, and I have this in the deck. Uh, live twin sunny effect, shuffle another card, like this is nuts. And it's not once per turn two, like this card is so broken, it's 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 just stupid. Like, I had Entis in my Ash deck, but I never once had to go into Entis because I was facing no fusion cards. Fusion Interesting. Decks. Yeah, which is like, the only time I ever needed to do was, um, one card that came up was, I had Robina engraved because my opponent judged me in my, uh, Robina. So what I did was, uh, I sent his XCs, uh, I mean like, I go, um, activate, send totally awesome, bounce XC, totally awesome effect, add Rubina. Nuts. Oh, nuts, nuts right. combo, yeah, nuts. But um, some of the cards you'll see, uh, the three prosperity and then these four, four cards are double saved because they're not mine. Shout out to my boy Ben. He's the one that hooked me up with like all these cards. And like, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have probably like got these cards in time. But like, it was for sure a medical. And shout out to like uh, Brandon Apracho because he's the one that gave me this whole deck to play in general. He, bro, he gave me his deck for like four months. I mean, like, he because he doesn't like Thunder. But like for four months, I've been playing this deck. So you've been holding it down, pretty much. And like, it's just, it's just, bro. Yeah, shout out to him. He's, he's a real guy for sure. Like he, he deserves like everything. Good stuff. Uh, we have your double Entis, obviously against uh, two elements. You do this, you pop another card. You have your link ones into added Mister beat up combo. Uh, Animal, as you know in the video, did come up, being able to take his Elich monster and like comboing off from there. You have your Dark Charmer if you ever want to steal something from Grave, and then you go into Underworld Goddess. It's only ever like come up against Adding Mister, which I did not face during the during the regional regional tournament. Yeah. But I mean, if it did, like I was ready to cook. Yep. For sure. Uh, you have your Zeus package. You have the one uh, Nengil, one Reset of Starling, and the Zeus package itself. Uh, Nengil attack directly or Reset of Starling if you want to detach one and search some follow up and then go Zeus line. Uh, it's, it's just nuts. And then you have your your four cards that are just pretty much like your your um, typical uh, Sun targets. Yeah, pretty much typical uh, Slayer targets. Like if I, I faced um uh what was it Sword Soul, and like if I was able to send this and then like bounce like bounce another card, it's just nuts. And like as you know, Live Twin Sunny came up like Trouble Sunny is just nuts. Totally, uh, totally awesome. Search uh, add add Robina and Fergie draw one pulling back. It's just nuts. Like honestly, like these four cards. It's just crazy to me. So your main deck is a 40 card main deck, right? <clears throat> Correct. So, okay, this is because we didn't get that earlier. Okay, so yeah, 40 card main deck, 15 side, 12 side pretty much. Yeah, 12 side, because I didn't even put in every rattle. All right, well, congratulations. Uh, do you have any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, actually, I want to shout out to my sponsors, uh, Upper Hand, uh, so Locals Miss Saga. Also, shout out to Untouchables. Like, I've been here testing with them as so much, and shout out to Ben. Shout out to Milano, because I was debating <clears throat> the day before the regionals. At the, in the middle of the night, I was like, yo, should I go to regionals? So I'm like, I'm talking to Milano. He's like, yeah, you gotta for sure go. Cause I'm like debating, should I come to his locals or should I just go to regionals? He's like, yeah. bro, if you, can go to, if you can go to regionals, go to regionals. He's like, you better go. So I'm like, okay, F it. And like, he's also the one that even got me into like uh, playing more Yu-Gi-Oh because he edited my first ever deck. Yeah. And I, I won a turn with it. I'm like, yo, F it. I just gotta play more tournaments. And like, shout out to all the 4-1 guys, all the untouched guys, cans of the game. Shout out to yeah, like- Shout out to all of Canada at this point. Literally, bro. Literally. <laughs> shout out to all of Canada. I played, I played so many people and like, even Ryan Yu too, cause like Ryan yeah. Yu during the tournament, He's like, he's coming to me. He's coming. To me, he's like, hey, you got this. Don't worry. He's like, then I like. He's like, he's like supporting me and shit. I'm like, respect yo, support from a top tier player. Yeah. Yo, that's my guy, bro. That's my guy for sure. But yeah, like literally everyone. Like shout out to everyone for sure. All right. Well, thank you, Mary. Congratulations again on your first place. XO. Oh, what is, what is it? What's it? What's it? Make sure carbuzz.com. Spanko five for five percent off. For five percent off, baby. You already know.
Let's go. All right, congratulations again. Thank you for this. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko and Mer, signing out. Peace. <laughs>